Hello everyone and welcome back to Webnet Defi channel. Today I've got something really exciting to share with you, a fantastic open source project called Image. So in this video we will explore what Image is all about, its key benefits, various use cases and also how you can deploy your own Google Photos alternative. But before, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with all our latest content. So let's get started. But before I show you how you can install image, first I want you to introduce you and tell you a little bit more about this great open source project. So as you can see, image is a self-hosted photo and video management solution. So what is image? It's open source self-hosted photo and video backup solution. It is alternative to cloud-based services like Google Photos. It prioritizes privacy and user control. So image is a powerful privacy focused application designed to help you securely store and manage your digital memories. As a self-hosted solution, it gives you full control over your data while offering features comparable to popular cloud-based services. What are the key advantages of using image? You will get complete data ownership and privacy. There are no third-party access to your personal media. It is actively development and with uh, regular updates. And also it supports cross platform support with web, iOS, Android. And you will get also advanced features like facial recognition and AI power search. So with image, you benefit from cutting edge photo management capabilities without compromising on privacy. The application is constantly evolving thanks to a dedicated community of developers and users. So what are the use cases of image? You can use it as personal photo library management, family media sharing and collaboration, photographers organizing client portfolios, small businesses archiving visual assets, educational institution preserving digital collections. So image adopts to various needs, from individual users looking to organize personal memories to professional managing extensive media libraries. Its versatility makes it suitable for a wide range of applications. What is the pricing and how you can support this project? So the first image is free. There are all features available at, not, at no cost when you are self-hosting. But also you can get a server license for $99 for lifetime and it will cover all users on a single server. There is also an individual license for $24.99. This applies to a single user usable on any server. And also those licenses are lifetime. So Image offers flexible pricing options to support its development while keeping the core features free for self-hosted user. The server license covers all users on a single server, making it ideal for larger setups. The individual license is perfect for users who prefer flexibility, allowing them to use the licenses across any server they choose. These lifetime licenses ensure long-term value and support and continued development on image. So that's it uh, for the image introduction and now we can begin to prepare our server and then we will install it through docker docker compose and also we can set up a reverse proxy so everything will be on https so let's get started with installation
All right, so now we have our server ready and also we installed Docker and we done some basic security things as I always recommend to check your server before you start doing anything. So on the website, when you go to the documentation, here you can see install. Uh, here you can see some requirements uh, if you want some features and those kind of things. But today we're going to install it via Docker Compose as they recommend it. So it is very, very easy and straightforward. You can just copy and paste those commands. So first we're going to make the folder. We can copy this command and now let's move back to the terminal. Now we are the server logged in as a local user with sudo and doco privileges. Don't deploy anything under root user. So let's paste the command. It created the image app folder and now we are back into this folder. Let's copy a second command, which we will download the doco compose file. All right. And let's download our configuration environment file. And that's it, what we'll need. And as you can see on the website, you can also download the hardware acceleration files. For example, if we have a dedicated GPU or any other like hardware acceleration in your computer. In our case, in the cloud, there is a chance that you won't get any GPU unless you order some servers with uh, graphics cards. But in this video, I'm not going to cover how you can enable uh, the GPU pass-through. It will be just everything through the CPU. So we just need only the Docker Compose file and this environment file. So let's go back to our terminal and we're gonna need to make some edits. So first, what we need to edit is our environment file. And but before, make sure to also create folder for data. So we're going to do, let me clear this. MKDR write data. You can go to data and get the uh, folder path. Copy that into the clipboard. Navigate back. And now we're going to need to edit our environment file. So it will be nano. That env and here you can see we need to specify the upload location which we can use like this or you can paste paste the full path uh, database location will be postgres image version release but now we need to change uh, the database password so what i recommend is to generate a passphrase and at least seven words with some numbers so i'm going to show you straight away and here is my password you know that i generated in a bit more than control o enter to confirm control x to exit and now we can uh, start our container so it will be docker compose abd and we can also check the locks And now it will pull all the images and uh, created our environment. And it looks like that everything went right. Uh, now we can check uh, the image on our website. So let me get the port from Docker Compose. And our port for image on the front end is 2283. So let's jump back to our Firefox. And we can navigate to our 2283, continue to HTTPS, and now we can create our account. So it will be image, Fortnestify, cloud, generate strong and secure administrative password, name Simon, and now 
you created your administrative account and now you can log in so it will be image and you can log in you can choose team light or dark uh, storage template you can enable it if you want you can see year month week you can click done and now you are at, on your image dashboard so you can go to administration you can change uh, some settings basically you have full control over this application and what's nice is that you can also download the ios or android app and when you do the photos you know it will it can automatically upload to your image server so uh, now i'm going to show you how we can put image behind the reverse proxy so it can be accessed by the domain name and also to have ssl certificate so let's get let's go back to our terminal and i show you everything So for Rx proxy, uh, we have uh, several options. We can use standard NGINX, NGINX manager, and also we can use Caddy or Apache. For image, I don't recommend using Cluffer tunnels because you cannot uh, host, you know, videos from reverse proxy through the Cloudflare. It is against terms of service. And if they find out that you are uh, streaming videos uh, through private tunnels they can uh, block your account so in this case uh, we will use caddy because it is really simple there is no user interface it's just a simple file when you go to reverse proxy documentation we just need to add this config to our caddy file and it will it will take care of everything it will deploy ssl etc etc so to install caddy uh, we can copy the scripts and now let's jump back to our terminal let me clear this and we're gonna go elevate our permissions and now we can install the caddy Alright, Caddy is installed and now we're gonna update our Caddy file. The Caddy file is located at etc Caddy Caddy file. So we can open nano and as you can see we have some configs here. We can remove everything and let's go back to our browser. And when we check the documentation for the caddy uh, let's go there so this proxy copy this command go back to the terminal and now we go, you're gonna need to specify the domain so it will be image at webnestify.org and now you need to get your uh, server public ip once you have your public IP, just uh, remove the snippet. Okay, and now you need to add this IP to your domain. So let's go back to Cloudflare. We're gonna add a record, image, and turn off the proxy because you don't wanna serve uh, videos and media through Cloudflare CDN. Okay, that's it. Let's go back to terminal. We can save it. Control O, enter, Control X to exit. And now we can restart Caddy. System control, restart Caddy. I'm gonna give it a time. It will take five, five minutes and everything should be up and running on SSL. All right. And when you do uh, system control status caddy, you can see that we have SSL. So let's move back to the browser. Open a new tab. 
and we're gonna do https image.webnestify.org and here you go we can log in to our image server with https all right there you have it you have now successfully installed image using docker I hope this tutorial has been helpful in getting you started with your own self-hosted photo and video backup solution. Remember, image is constantly evolving, so be sure to check their official website and documentation for the latest updates and features. If you run into any issues or have questions, the image community is incredibly supportive. You can find links to their forums and chat channels in the description below. Also worth mentioning that Image is part of the FUTO organization, which is dedicated to development and funding technology that empowers individuals. This partnership helps ensure that Image continues to grow and improve while staying true to its mission of privacy and user control. So if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Webnestify channel for more content on self-hosted solutions and open source software. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest video. Have you tried image before? Are you excited to start using it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy photo organizing. Bye bye.